Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. If your closet looks a little bit like this and you have tons of denim just everywhere, probably old ones, new ones, ones you can't fit, a lot of ones you can't fit, too big, too small, whatever, this is the video for you. I have four dope denim upcycles for you and i do mean dope you don't want to miss this video but first this is a collaboration with the maria antoinette from youtube instagram you guys go check out her videos after this for more dope denim upcycles you don't want to miss these so let's get right into it okay guys you're going to love this first pair because there's very little sewing but yet in the end they are going to be amazing these are a pair of vintage lee jeans that are too big for me but i love that i found them at the thrift store already with the frayed bottoms so since they're too big we can create a snatched waist and ankles effects using grommets and jean scraps the jean scraps i'm going to use are from two other scrap pair of jeans and if you're curious as to why i have so many cut up jeans Jeans, you can check out my denim upcycle playlist and it'll make sense to you. So for my scrap jeans, I'm first going to detach the belt loops at the bottom. After last week's video, someone told me that I should start using a razor for seam ripping because it's faster than a seam ripper. So I had this eyebrow razor at the house and decided to try it. And I must say that I am now a believer. It's much faster than a seam ripper, so thank you very much. So once I get those detached, I'll cut off the waistband on both pairs. And I'm actually only going to cut off the front half of the waistbands because that's all I'll need. Next, you'll want to put the waistbands loosely around your ankles and pin the ends so that you'll know where to sew. Now I'm going to use a sewing machine with a denim needle because this is a whole lot of layers of denim. However, this project would be really easy for those of you who like to hand sew. So I'll just sew each waistband closed where they were pinned and then just sew that seam of the waistband to the inside leg seam at the bottom leg of the jeans. I sewed mine down about 3 or 4 inches up from the bottom edge. Then I can button it closed and my ankles are snatched. And for the waist, we're just going to add grommets under the waistband. These are actually curtain grommets in a bronze finish and they come with a neat little template that you can place on the jeans to draw your circles. After drawing your circle, you can use a pair of sharp scissors to cut the circle out. Then you put the half with the lip edge underneath and the other part on top. The only problem with these is that they don't like a lot of layers. And since I was trying to go through the pocket area, there are a lot of layers. I even tried using a mallet, which was not successful in any way, shape or form. So I just took the bottom part and put it through just the top layer of fabric, laid the other part on top, laid it on a flat surface and pressed it down with the palm of my hand. And voila, that got it done. And I did a total of four of these, two in the front and two in the back. And this is how it turned out. An easy way to get snatched without all that work. I've been seeing these pants with a little belt gather at the ankle, and I've been wanting to make some so bad for so long. So Maria gave me the idea to do it on jeans, and I love it so much. Let me know what you think. And if those comments still aren't acting right, please, please, please stick with me. It has nothing to do with me. It's on YouTube's end, but I do have a feeling it's gonna be all good very soon. Okay, so let's groove on over to the second pair. Wide legs and bell bottoms are back, but if you've been scared to try them, you're definitely going to after seeing these. I showed you guys these jeans a few weeks ago in my thrifting in New York video. I'm gonna use that pair and the bottoms of a couple of other pair. And if you regularly make jean cut off shorts, those cut off pieces are perfect for this. First, I'm gonna put them on inside out. They are a bit loose, so I wanna add a pin on the side to take them in because a good pair of bell bottoms have to fit just right at the top. And while I'm doing that, I'll also add a pin right underneath the knee. Next, I'll take out the hem because I need as much length as possible. And I'll take out the inside and outside leg seams up to where I place the pin a little lower than the knee. Next, I'll add a seam on each side where I pin to take them in. And I do have two whole videos on cool ways to take jeans in. And I'll add that link in the description box below. Okay, next I'll cut pieces off my scrap jeans that are longer than I need because I want my bell bottoms to go all the way to the floor. If the jeans were already too long for you, then you just cut whatever length suits you. And then I'm just gonna cut random triangles from them. I didn't really measure or think about it too hard. Just get as much width on the bottom as you can and don't come to a complete point at the top of the triangle. Now with my jeans inside out, I'll open up the leg seams and pin one triangle on each side. I'm not actually gonna pin it, but if you're a beginner at sewing, you can pin it to keep everything in place until you sew it down. 
and then you just sew each side of the triangle to an edge of the leg seam. And even though I took that hem out of the original jeans to make them longer, they're still not long enough. So I cut out a couple of rectangles from the scraps to add to the length in the front and back. And you can see that here as I'm finishing up by cutting them even. And here's how these turned out. I have to admit that I've been a little apprehensive about trying bell bottoms because I'm not big into boho or hippie style, but it's really all about how you style it. And this is completely me with the fresh white fringe and the cheetah print belt. It's just my style. How would you style bell bottoms? Let me know over on Instagram and learn more about this dope denim challenge we got going on. Okay, this next pair is for those of us that are a little more curvier than we used to be. And these some jeans that are super dope and non-constricting at the same time. And it was requested by one of you guys and I'm so glad that I screenshot the inspiration because I cannot find that message for nothing. So if you're the one who suggested this, please shout yourself out and thank you so much for the inspiration. So I have these two pairs of jeans and some raw denim for the side panels. I tried not to use raw materials as much as possible but this fabric was gifted to me and I didn't have any jeans long enough for the side panels. But you could definitely use the sides of another pair of jeans if you don't wanna buy fabric. And I'm also using the waistband of these lightweight denim looking pants. And whatever I don't use, rest assured that you'll see it in another video sooner or later. So for the main pair of jeans, I'm going to cut the outside seams all the way up. Then I'm going to cut off the waistband. Next, I'll cut the top off the darker pair. And I'm using button fly jeans because it's going to make joining the fly areas of both pairs of jeans together so much easier. But these jeans are going to be so big that you don't really need the fly. So if zipper jeans is all you have, then just connect them and sew the fly shut. Then for the raw denim, I'm going to fold it over and cut a strip that is about 7 inches wide and then cut it along the fold so that I have two pieces. This piece of denim is actually still not long enough for my five panels, so I'm going to cut a shorter piece that is about the length of the darker denim and then cut a long strip that is 7 inches at the top and a little bit wider at the bottom. And there's no magic reason why I cut it seven inches. My goal was just to make these jeans much bigger than my waist so that I would get a nice amount of scrunch when I belted them. All right, now let's put it together. First, we're gonna sew together the main pair of jeans and the darker pair by lining up the fly and pinning it in place. If you have jeans with zippers, like I said before, just sew the fly closed because if you make them big enough, you'll be able to just slip them on and belt them and keep going. At the sewing machine, I'm gonna start with my aligned fly area and sew them together. And when you get to a rivet, don't worry, you can just sew around it. And when you get to that button side, don't align the edges, align the buttons. And sew that side together and then do the back as well. And once I have those two together, I can cut off the excess of the darker pair. Now I'm gonna sew on the top parts of the side panels to make sure that this will indeed be the size I want. Like I said, the seven inches was guesswork, but I'm pretty happy with how big they are. So now since I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and sew the long part of the side panels on. And this is going to be an external seam so that when I wash them, I get a good amount of fray going down the sides. And then I'll sew the top and bottom of the two side panels together as well. And I really don't like that side seam being there, but I'll iron it flat to make it less visible. Now I can add that little piece of waistband at the top to give it that paper bag waist effect. And since I went through all the trouble of sewing the two flies together to make them open, I'm going to cut the middle of the waistband open and fold it under and sew it to finish the edge. And just as a side note, I think it's very helpful when piecing together existing jeans that you either use a thread color that matches the color of the jeans or a color that matches the thread used in the existing jeans. Then I'll just sew it down right inside the top hem. The paper bag waistband was a little bigger than the jeans waistband, so I just gathered a little while I was sewing to make sure the back seams lined up. Just sew that all the way around and you're done. Just throw on a long belt and this is the dopest jeans and tank outfit ever. And for a touch of irony because the pants are so big, I'll carry a super tiny bag for that super tiny bag trend. And then when the weather starts to change, just add a sweater and you're good. I wasn't sure I was going to like these when they were suggested, but they are my absolute favorite. Which one is your favorite? Head on over to Marie Antoinette's channel and check out three more super dope denim upcycles. And then head on over to Instagram to join the dope denim challenge. And definitely subscribe so 
I can show you how to create the wardrobe of your dreams, one that perfectly fits your size and personality. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.